Hi, this is Guy Arnold, author of Great All 4 and Sales Through Service. This is a short video called The Four Principles of Great All 4 because many people ask me, say, well, Great All 4, what's it all about? So here you are. Now, the first thing is that Great All 4 is not about customer service training. It is not about customer satisfaction surveys. Great All 4 is not a simple training scheme or a survey scheme or anything else like that. Great All 4 is a systematic approach to the customer experience to ensure it is number one, consistent, number two, continually improving, and number three, systematically used to drive sales. By which I mean cross sales, repeat sales, up sales, referrals, and new customers. Okay? So Greater Poor is a systematic approach to the customer experience to ensure it's consistent, continually improving and used to systematically drive sales and at the same time reduce costs, reduce marketing costs, reduce rework, reduce problems and reduce uh, dissatisfaction, staff turnover and all that sort of stuff. So Great or Poor is a system to build more profits. So where, what are the four principles and how does it work? Well so we start off, and this, bear in mind Great or Poor can work for a, a whole organisation, a team, or an individual. Okay, so great or poor is a systematic approach to the customer experience at any level. So we'll talk about uh, the organisational level, but remember it can apply to all, all, all areas. So organisation, team, division, or, or individual. So first of all, great or poor starts off, it's designed as a flywheel. It's designed as a flywheel for a particular point. Now, in the fantastic book, Good to Great, by Jim Collins, he says one of the key things that the great companies, the good to great companies had, was a flywheel at the heart of their business, driving the business forward. So the business wasn't dependent on individuals, it wasn't dependent on markets, it wasn't dependent on products, it was dependent on systems driving excellence at the heart of the business. So this is why it's designed as a flywheel. At the centre of the flywheel, we have something called CFM, which stands for Customer Focused Mission. Now what I'm saying here is that any organisation who wants to deliver a consistent and continually improving customer experience and use that to drive sales has got to have the customer at the heart of their organisation. And we call this a customer-focused mission. It's a statement of the bleeding obvious, but it's a statement that most organisations don't make. It's a statement that goes something like this. We are not in business to make money. We are in business to do something so great that customers love us, want to pay us, want to come back and can't wait to tell their friends about it. Now, a great example of a customer-focused mission is Tesco. Tesco's mission is to earn a customer's lifetime loyalty. It's simple, it's powerful, it's consistent, it's present, and it's empowering to everyone there. Our, our mission in our organisation is to help everyone we come across, whether they do business or not, help everyone achieve success. So. Mission is all about, what are we really about? What is, what is it that we really believe inside us? What is our core? If you slice this open, what would be written through us like a stick of rock? Can you trust us? What are we really, really about in this organisation? Absolutely critical to get it right, and we regard it as a compass. It's a compass driving your business forward to making sure your business goes in the right direction. So customer focus, mission point number one, critically important. Point number two, we say find the customer's real needs. Now this is the customer's emotion, and who do we mean by customers? Well, we mean everyone that organisation deals with. We mean, obviously, paying customers, but more importantly, internal customers. What about the staff? And, of course, the community, the suppliers, and everybody else that organisation comes in, in, in contact with. What are their real needs? Why are they associated with this organisation? And what can we do to make sure that everything we do is aligned to those needs? And those needs are emotional and not physical. Yes, of course, they have physical needs, but the physical needs have emotional drivers. And there are three emotional drivers. First of all, people want their life to be easier. Secondly, people want to feel like they matter, they want some attention. And thirdly, people want to be able to trust an organisation. Now, what we suggest is those three things are a filter. The customer's real needs are a filter for the organisation. They need to filter all of their systems and processes through those real needs. Will this organisation drive trust? Will this system make the customer feel valued? Will this process make the customer's life easier? 
And all of the processes and all of the systems and everything in the organisation must comply with those three customers' real needs. Because if it doesn't, you're probably doing the wrong thing. So this is systemization of your, of your processes. How do you, how do you take that and how do you make it happen? Well, you go the extra inch. Okay, that's the action point here. The action point from Great Job Board is go the extra inch. Um, how do you go the extra inch? You go the extra inch in your systems and processes. On a systematic basis, and this is outlined in our work, you have a go the extra inch session that looks at all of your systems and processes one by one and moves them forward inch by inch. It identifies what you're doing really well and shares best practice. It identifies what you need to change and improve and helps you change and improve them. And it moves your systems and processes forward inch by inch. So that's on the process level. On the behavioural level, secondly, go the extra inch is about your behaviour. How can everyone in your organisation deliver that tiny bit better than they did today? How can everyone in your organisation just slightly over-deliver on what they promised? How can everyone in your organisation make sure that they have a reputation for being consistent and excellent and continually just overachieving in a tiny way? So let's go the extra inch. Now, the last point is measure. And here is a really, really important point. We call this the great or poor measure. Most businesses have measures, but they are money measures. But if our mission is not to make money, but to do something so fantastically well that people want to buy more from us, etc., 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 then we must have a measure for that. And what's gone wrong in the world is that the only measure organisations are using is money. Now, uh, this produces amazingly stupid behaviour, like banks selling payment protection insurance when it's not needed, or fixing LIBOR rates, like supermarkets putting prices up and then reducing them to pretend they're giving special offers. Like um, professional services people overcharging and, and being very vague on their bills. The list goes on, it's endless, endless, endless. And it happens in every organisation, it happens in every, uh, in every category of business. So we're all looking for people who don't do this. Now, the, 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 the problem with a money measure is, it's a measure of money today. It's a measure of success today and yesterday. Something that has happened. Now, if we compare this to something like the weather, a money measure is a measure of a weather report. It's what has happened to the weather, what happened today and yesterday. You know, what did the weather do? But we need to be better than that. We need a measure of our customer-focused mission. We need a measure which explains to us what the weather's going to do tomorrow. We call this a business barometer. Okay, we need a business barometer measure. What will the weather do tomorrow? And this is what we call the great or poor measure. Okay? Um, now, please contact us. This is absolutely critical to get right for your business. It is personalised to each business. But in a nutshell, the great or poor measures uh, four things about a bill. Three, measures three things and ask the fourth question. The three things are, what do you think of us? Why is that? And what could we do better? What do you think of us? Why is that? And what could we do better? Okay? They ask those three things. Of course, those questions are blindingly obvious common sense, but it's critical to ask them in the right way, or else your customer won't give you the right answers. So it's really, really important to get this right. Please don't do it without help. Uh, so that's, that's one thing. And secondly, the fourth question is, what would you like us to do next? Or would you recommend us? Or will you recommend us? Or... Would you like to buy more from us, or would you like to be on our VIP club? The fourth question is what I call elastic and Velcro marketing. It's the question that re-engages you with the customer to make sure that you, that you continue to have the all night detail, you continue to have dealings with them, you continue to re-engage them, you continue to sell things to them, you have a long-term relationship, which is exactly what everyone wants with their customers. Okay? So Get this right, get this measure in place, and the most important thing is, this measure really needs to be done properly. It cannot be done by a cruddy old survey, it cannot be done by some useless piece of paper left in your hotel room, it cannot be done by some NAF survey monkey survey. We suggest it is done proactively, we suggest it's usually done by telephone, there are other ways of doing it, but please, please do it on the right way for your organisation. You know, we, have, we have hotels and pubs with poker chips, putting them in boxes. We have businesses that sell products online using 
uh, feedback processes online, proactive online feedback processes. We have people using Facebook for feedback and of course we do feedback for people, we run feedback processes for clients large and small via the telephone uh, through our brand called Investors in Feedback. That's another thing we do. So get this right, get your customer focus mission in place, filter everything through your customer's real needs, go the extra inch in your processes and behaviour and put some fantastic proactive business barometer measures in place and you will have the system for continual effectiveness in the customer experience, continual, continual excellence and improvement in the customer experience and of course consistency in the customer experience that will drive your business forward, drive profits forward whilst also reducing costs. It's absolutely like magic. It does work, it's absolutely proven and we guarantee it for you. So if you work with us, we will make this happen for you and we'll guarantee that you get results. So please do contact us if you're interested. If you're not interested, I hope you've got value out of this, business, this video and hope to hear from you at some time in the future. Thank you.